All right. I think my mom would let me share them. Share, share. What were we doing before this? <laughs> I think we were gonna go to the Golden Saucer, right? There's no more quests around here for now. Saga of the Seaside Inn. We're still waiting on this one. Gold Saucer. Can barely tell what it is based on that. It's completely... Oh, is that the Gold Saucer? That doesn't look very gold or saucery to me. Ropeway boarding. Come on. Where are my hidden chests? Nothing. Welcome to the gold sa- oh, That is a gold saucer. There's nothing gold about it. Chocobo. Rack? Race. Race standings. Chocobo race standings. Ready? Then let's get a move on. Yeah. This will take us all the way to the saucer. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and beat them up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. We're all pissed. We're all just holding back. I told you, I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but... I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? It's not him now, but... This about her? About Marlene? wasn't much. Decent place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. We were happy, covered in soot and porous dirt, but none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dan. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Oh, yeah. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we have. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we going to let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We going to let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? Well then, all in favor? Everyone voted. This town, you can't blame Barrett when things go wrong after you all democratically voted. That's not how that works. <sighs> 
Two years later, the reactor was finished, and the trial run went off without a hitch. Everyone was ecstatic, convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day, <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. And then, Shinra came rolling into town. Burned everything. Innocent people in their homes. Was that Scarlet? It was, wasn't it? You've met her. Yeah. I don't get it. Why burn the whole town? To craft a story that it was all the work of a local insurgent group. But ain't no villager ever gone near the reactor. They lied right through their teeth. Murderers. Hmm. <laughs> that they are. Still. There's a whole lot of blood on my hands, too. No, there isn't. I push for the reactor. I put us on the path that brought us here. They all agreed. Barrett. The saucer's waiting. You didn't strong arm anyone into agreeing with you. They all logically thought about it, and they voted, and they agreed with you. You're being too nice, bye. Just accepting this as your fault. <sighs> Is this really how it's gonna be? Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever! The Gold Saucer! Huh? So turn those frowns upside down! <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Doubt. Right? Wanna have a look? <laughs> it's coming up over there. It'll be good. Reprieve. <laughs> Glad to see we're all on the same page. <laughs> Think about other stuff for a little bit. Functioning? Whoa. <laughs> and hello to you too. This is incredible. So are summons like God in this world or what? They're they're monetizing deities for entertainment and profit. <laughs> How is this allowed under any religion? <laughs> Honestly though, it's not fun when you go to an amusement park and it's just your own party there. It's <laughs> I've written on rides and very very empty, like at the end of the day at an amusement park and it's like literally just me and the people that, that I came with. 
and on an entire ride and it's like, whoa, okay, this is this is spooky. <laughs> Guys, don't go so Whoa! You're here for fun too? Orb of healing material, level one. Yes, I really needed that. Buggy parking. Oh, I can't break these. This place is fancy and developed. Ooh. The sky is crazy. Oh wait, this is the actual sky. Barrett Wallace, Tifa Lockhart, and Cloud Strife. I'm on the board too. Look at them. Look! Waltzing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? At least they're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. That's all well and good, but why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you. <laughs> Cloud, the others are waiting. Well, I guess we're not alone. We have the other... Pe oh, wait, there's actually people here. This is still functioning. Functional and functioning. Old Saucer. Chocobo Square, Event Square, Battle Square, Go Square. Why are you in love with squares? Pretty. Welcome to Old Saucer, Kubo. You'll find the main entrance just up ahead. We hope you enjoy your stay with us. Okay. To the gold saucer. Beyond Can we check out the buggy parking? I don't have a buggy. Can I have a buggy? This is our desert parking area. Access is reserved for guests with vehicles and their companions. Okay, be that way. Just wanted to check it out. This buggy seems pretty cool. Is that supposed to be an Irish accent? Hope you're ready to big it! <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow! Uh. <laughs> Damn! Oh. <laughs> hey, how come Yuffie's the only one who got an outfit change? Damn, girls! The... Get off! Ah, oh! Ah. oh. <laughs> You're here too! <laughs> Damn! Nice try! Oh. The floor's all yours. What am I 
being made to see right now. Don't love you, Yubi! You like that? Oh! This is information overload right now. There's so many people. We don't even care about that cat. There he is. Our challenger for the evening. <laughs> Welcome to our gilded paradise, the gold saucer. Ooh. Dio, art director. Oh, you're Dio. And you, sir, are... Cloud. <laughs> well, Cloud, shall we duel? That wasn't a question. Let go. Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? Does that cat just talk? Guess I shouldn't be surprised given we have red. You can do this, Cloud. Oh! What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> We're fort condoring this up again. Seconds out! And fight! <laughs> Practice, eh? How prudent! <laughs> Come on! R2! Right hook! <sighs> Oh, it's like a sh beat him up. All right. Yeah. Well. Okay. You can limit yeah. break here too. Do it again. Oh, R. I'm sorry, R. Not. F. Oh, it's. If you want to dodge left, it's the left stick. If you want to dodge right, it's the right stick. What? Why? Land two hits in a row. Come on. Strike when the enemy's guard is down. Note which arm is down, did it say earlier? Dude, why is dodging on different... Well. Oh my goodness. Charge up or something. Come on. Well... Okay. Let's see if you have what it takes, young man. Yeah. Hm. We can only move with All ATB. Right. Oh, I can block. Yeah. Actually, didn't realize that was a thing. Come on. Yeah. Uh. All right. Let me break. Hope you're ready. Cross slash. Well played. Yeah! Yeah! Nice going. <laughs> Expertly done, Cloud. Red cares. <sighs> Well fought, young man. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little happy about that. <sighs> Let's give our worthy contender another thunderous round of applause. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
You like being center of attention, Cloud? <laughs> God, Final Fantasy voice acting is so... You know how they love to do all the, the grunting sounds. <laughs> Oh, that was a warm welcome. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> nice punching up there, Cloud. <laughs> a small token of my thanks. <sighs> One golden ticket. Your ticket to paradise. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, hi, pop star outfit. Thanks. Okay, so that cat. Are we not gonna talk about that cat? Nicely done. Said you were pretty nervous. No. Cloud's used to performing in front of clouds. You should have seen him at the Honey Bee Inn. Eric. Oh, you've got to tell me that one later. It, even Tifa doesn't know about that one. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cat Twerk, can I have a balloon? Why did they give him the, the sombrero and stuff? Make him look so... Like a Mexican... Mexican I cactuar. <laughs> I guess Mexico equals deserts equals sombreros equals cactuses? <laughs> uh, the cat. So the cat watched Midgar fall back in Remake. And we know its name is... <laughs> it's not Ketchy, apparently. We have to say Kate Sith. Apparently, that's what I've read on Square Enix's Twitter account. Which uh, has been a bit of a contentious decision, even before the game came out, as I saw. We'll have to see how it is when it actually gets introduced. Oh man, I can't decide where to get my picture taken. Oh, that's what that is. Hey, I think the spread... I just want to talk about the pacing of this this whole story up until now. These few bits where we have some side quests spread out with, you know, main quests, I think it's much more reasonable spread compared to the beginning of the game. Honestly, like the amount of mini games is kind of insane and from chapter 1 to chapter 2 to chapter 3, chapter 4, two big open world regions I think was probably not not the Mm, it was fun. It was fun when I played it, but if that pacing continued like that, I think it would have gone very old very, very quickly. And even during, I think, Costa del Sol, it's been a little bit like, oh my god, minigame after minigame. And I feel like that's something that um, some people have brought up online already that I saw. At the moment, right now, right this very moment, I'm okay. But there were definitely a few moments in previous areas that we were at where I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Which, um, you know, hope this pacing continues. Welcome to paradise, the gold saucer. So, now that we're here, let's have some fun. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Sure, sounds like a plan to me. I had my fill of fun in Costa del Sol. Let's put it to a vote then. A teensy little break. All those in favor? Me. Hmm? Me. Me. <laughs> yeah! Who's your boy? Yay or nay? I, uh... Doesn't matter. Majority won already. <sighs> have your fun. <sighs> While you still have time. Hey. Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No. I'm all right. Come on, man. I know this ain't your scene. Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? Fine. <laughs> well, the four of us are off. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Get some sleep, okay? Mm, you guys, you girls have fun. 
tail's gotta be that way. I feel like Cloud's friends have just sort of accepted that he's gonna go crazy once in a while and then randomly start swinging his sword at people, usually numbered people, and they're just like, okay. No, they don't even do that. They're just like, hey, Cloud, what are you doing? And then they forget about it in the next second. <laughs> What the hell is wrong with those guys? It won't last. What? Mako, when it's gone, so's this. Where'd that come from? Paraphrasing you. Well, you're not wrong. But I get your point. Live it up while you can. Future's not promised to no one. Unless if you can see into the future. Should we just go here or should we look around a little bit more? Cloud's apparently not feeling too well, so... Maybe we don't want to go around too much. Yeah, okay, head to the hotel. I do think, like, again, there is some... You know what? Okay, a part of me is like, Yay, video! it's a video game! We're gonna have fun in a video game! But, like, another part is like, Hello? We're... We're... What about Sephiroth? We're gonna play at an amusement park? Oh! Oh, damn. What's this fancy technology? Oh, it's so quiet here. Nice and quiet. No, this is the haunted hotel. This isn't the hotel. Oh, wow. Everything is a square. Ghost Square. Huh? That looks like a numbered person. <gasps> oh! Uh. A little bit too realistic, buddies. Can you believe this shit? This is what the planet's dying for? This is why we're bleeding or dry? <sighs> Look at it. Look. All of it. Mako. Siphoned straight from the life stream. From her veins. Hey, get a grip. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Whoa! What do we have here? Oh, God. A man with a rain cloud over his head. <sighs> So how about a reading to clear those somber skies? It's the cat. Whether it be dark or bright, I'll read your future right. Just didn't go shooting the messenger, eh? This some kind of toy? Your Irish accent gave you away. Yoo-hoo, lads! Eyes up here. Huh. <laughs> Kate Seth, fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. Huh. It's a toy, all right. Pretty lifelike, though. Come on, pal. Give us a smile. The gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back off! <clears throat> you coming? S what are you, mister? Someone's got a bee in their bonnet. Strange. Most folks like me. You are very cute. I think you're cuter than Moogle. Someone's got a bee in their bonnet. Are you just a talking cat, or is that just a thing that happens in this world? Maybe. Man, some people don't like haunted hotels. Is this the actual hotel of the amusement park? There's just one hotel, and it's haunted. Oh, that chandelier that's covered in wax. That's kind of cool. Ooh, those textures are a little nasty. <laughs> and I thought the outside was tacky. Seems classy now. Is there a receptionist here? 
Oh god, there's just random ghosts. Playing QB! Apparently. Tacky and understaffed. Great. There's people here. Hello? <laughs> oh, Jesus! Lord. <laughs> Welcome, gentle sirs. What in the hell was that? Wait. <laughs> My most sincere apologies. <sighs> Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Wait, this guy? Well, five and one pet. Is he just a concierge? Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh, he was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then. He reminds me of Nero hmm. from Intermission. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all booked up for the night. <sighs> for crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir, but according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? <laughs> Hello again. Nowhere to stay? And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? Ah, you trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? Who are you? Why do you care about us? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, a timely cancellation. <laughs> wow. The Tonberry and Elagor suites have just become available. Shall I book them for you? <laughs> it feels so good to do good. All right, lads, enjoy your stay. <laughs> to the loo. This guy is being a weirdo. What's his game? Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. <laughs> Why is he helping us? The level of technology present in Shinra, honestly, like, how could they not just... Yeah, even when we were riding the trains and stuff, they were checking for IDs and all that. How have we been traveling throughout the whole place without anyone checking our ID? Oh, I thought there was a materia there. Without anyone checking our ID and just getting scanned by a computer and then them realizing, hey, there's a fugitive here. <laughs> I hope your chambers are to your liking. He reminded me of Nero from the, the DLC. <laughs> I'd love to have his job. Well, he he probably goes on break. You can here at the haunted <laughs> hotel. I can sleep like the dead. I heard one of the rooms is literally haunted. Oh god. Yes, I really want that. Can I look around a little first? Oh, this is so, so a bad juju. Told me this story. One evening, right around midnight, he hears a sound outside his room. So he gets up, goes over to the door and looks through the peephole. Sees an old Tonberry robot, battered little thing with a huge knife dripping blood. As he shuffles down the hallway, real slow, till he's out of sight. Come on, man. Oh, it's true. Was looking for the jerk who smashed it up. Night after night, that Tonberry stalks the hotel halls, seeking revenge. And if it crosses paths with ill-mannered guests that remind it of the one who did it wrong, stab right through their heart. A robot with a grudge. Scary stuff. Ooh. You guys telling ghost stories around here? Oh yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Oh lord. That's powered by Mako too. So a friend told me the room service here is next level. A Tonberry robot delivers your food right to your doorstep. Not the same one in the story that they were just talking about, right? Of 
clerk is absent. Service here is next. Okay, we'll be back. A Tonberry robot delivers your food. We'll be back. There you are. The offer still stands. A fortune or two to steer you true. You can answer any question? But of course. Be it this, be it that, go on and ask the cat. Where is Sephiroth? Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you see. All right. Hold on to your underpants. Meow, 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 meow. That doesn't even sound like a real cat. That's just like someone pretending to be a cat. <laughs> Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last-minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What indeed? Give me another chance. I'll get it this time. Come on! Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? <sighs> We're done. Wait, don't go! Third time's a charm! Come on, you stupid thing! Give us GPS location, okay? I needed that exact. Anything the matter? <laughs> Seek and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most. <laughs> the stars work in mysterious ways. <laughs> you good? That is a bit of an ominous reading. Yeah, it's just what I cherish most. Um, see what this crap does. My apologies, sir. You might not know what it is specifically, but it'll hurt. Something tells me I'm going to have the worst nightmares when I go to bed. I'm getting this tingling up and down my spine. Wait, maybe I've got some kind of sixth sense. <laughs> Well, that means they did a good job on the atmosphere. Yeah, this is uh, spilled wax part. Oh, it's not a chandelier. It's just a ornament. Okay, that painting is kind of scary already. Something tells me I'm going to have the worst night. Odd. When I go to My readings are normally bang on. I'm scared it's bang on. Stars mustn't be smiling on me. Odd. My readings are normally bang on. It's just... You won't believe this, but I finally got the Marlboro room. I've heard it's to die for. Someone literally I died in there. An entire night surrounded by Marlboro everything. Now that's the stuff of dreams. I'm in the Mandragora room myself. There's no better way to start your day at the Gold Saucer than to be woken by the sound of screams. Whoa. I love it. But now that I've managed to book the Marlboro suite, which should I try next? Decisions, decisions. I'd like to stay in the behemoth. But alas, that one's reserved for families only. You can become a family. Oh, I know. Why don't we book it together? <laughs> Half the cost, double the fun. Are you sure? That would be perfect. One night in the behemoth room is all I need to complete my sweet conquest. And what would be the most perfect outcome of this is that they fall in love because of this. <laughs> Damn, these ladies are hardcore. They're like hardcore horror maniacs. You won't believe this. Okay. Oh, God. You wish to go down, I presume? Fourth floor. Oh, uh, of course. Very well. Fourth floor it is. Do you train for that voice? Goodness me! Oh, oh he's here! Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. 
Oh god, they're staying so close to us. Oh my god. Reservation. Under the name Palmer. Director of Space and Aeronautics? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, one moment, please. What if that was the one that was cancelled? <laughs> it says here you cancelled those rooms. Ooh. What? No, we didn't. <laughs> While we did have you booked for the Tonberry and Elagor suites, Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. <sighs> Is something wrong? We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. Oh. Well, no point dwelling on it. Now, where can a man get a drink <laughs> around here? <laughs> you waitress. Well, that's nice. He's not blaming the hotel staff. A lot of people in positions of power would. He seems pretty happy-go-lucky. We've arrived. Farewell. We hope you have yourselves a ghoulish and morbid evening. Your voice is definitely gonna help with that. Wow, we just brushed past them. But they're gone. Wish we could get a peek at the rooms. Ooh, scary paintings. Four floors. Ready to go to sleep? Barrett. Been a night. Oh God! <sighs> More toys. <sighs> Is it a Roomba? <sighs> and they mentioned the the room service earlier. <sighs> Start to miss Johnny's seaside flea trap. <laughs> I'm gonna head out for a bit. Cool. But not for fun. Just to take a walk. That's fine. I'll catch some Z's. Hey, you've been acting pretty weird lately, Cloud. Rest up and shake it off. You hear me? Yeah. I hear you. Oh lord. You're scary. Please don't swing that sword. Oh, night. Tell us that. More wasteful Mako stuff. Just a toy? Okay. It's just a random toy. Weird. At least there's some good amount of beds in here. That's mine. Wait. How come there's multiple? Oh. <laughs> Okay, geez, man. You don't have to go so hard. Boy just wants to sleep. <laughs> the knob is different. <laughs> Rest while you can, because that won't be a given very shortly. Oh my god. Okay. Is that... The reason for your name? I don't know why you're called a Tonberry, to be honest. Oh, that's your little Roomba pad. Go back to your Roomba pad. Go back to your Roomba pad. Go back to your damn Roomba pad. I can't sleep like this. <laughs> Oh god, is it a number person? Oh, 
Okay, okay. People, please. Yes. Take the nice bed for yourself, why don't you? Oh god, why'd it move? More tired than I thought. Yeah, we've been running on fumes for a while. We climbed the whole mountain. 